the fertility wheel. I am here to share something special, and I hope you'll find it all as exciting, engaging, and inspiring as I do. I know at least some of you will. I will start by explaining its name, Fertility Wheel. The name was chosen to reflect its direct connection to the fertility of animals, the land, and plants. The term also acknowledges the Fertile Crescent's valuable role in developing early civilizations. It is here that I must say, the basis for my explanation for this new wheel is the zodiac as you currently know it. But as we unravel this mystery and shed light on the workings of the fertility wheel, we will eventually move away from referring to the zodiac at all. And my explanation will evolve to illustrate only the fertility wheel, which as you will see, is an entirely different system. You have a fertility wheel or a perpetual farmer's almanac if you understand how to use and align the symbols with the equinoxes and solstices. For every location in the northern hemisphere, the sheep or goat symbol begins on the fall equinox. The sheep, goat, and deer are interchangeable animals within my wheel. This does not represent a singular animal. This is when they enter their rut or their peak mating time. The fertility wheel represents the underlying principle or force that governs the universe and all natural phenomena. Following the Earth's rhythms, we are encouraged to harmonize with nature and align our actions with the flow of the seasons. The fertility wheel promotes simplicity, spontaneity, and non-interference with the natural order of things. The first and important clue as to why this is a fertility wheel this depiction highlights the natural reproduction cycle, encompassing the mating and birthing process of women and their children. It acknowledges the natural timing of seasonal breeders and holds valuable knowledge relevant to ancient cultures that can be applied in any era. Its simplicity lies in presenting fundamental aspects of life and providing essential information for understanding and embracing the intricacies of human existence. For example, by replacing the symbol of the scales with the correct animal, the most critical animal, which happens to be a seasonal breeder, the scales are perfectly replaced and the wheel makes sense. Now, when properly aligned, the zodiac becomes a fertility wheel and a valuable resource for comprehending the optimal timing for animal breeding, fishing, and basic farming techniques for growing crops, all in service to the survival of our human species. This information is critical for the survival and prosperity of any budding civilization. It also shows the optimum time to plant and harvest wheat and the possible dangers one might encounter through the seasons. Let's discuss the meaning and messages February 22nd to March 21st. Maiden, woman, or goddess. Referring to the female symbol on the fertility wheel as a virgin, could lead people to overlook the significance of newborns born nine months after the woman's conception and shown nine spaces after the appearance of the goddess. Upon researching the origin of the sign and meaning of Virgo, I discovered that virgin comes from the Latin and Greek Virgo and means young maiden or unmarried woman with nothing about her sexuality. We changed the meaning to untouched, but the term virgin held a distinct and different meaning in ancient times. This oversight could persist for centuries and keep this clue invisible to the human mind. Some cultures celebrated the love between Inanna and Dumuzid from February through March so they could be the inspiration for the people represented on the fertility wheel. Using the term newborns instead of twins and depicting them as such is a meaningful and impactful change. In addition, the placement of each zodiac sign and symbol holds great significance. Take, for instance, the sign of the woman on the zodiac or the fertility wheel. By counting nine spaces forward, or nine months, we arrive at the symbol of Gemini, which should embody newborn babies. I noticed a woman and babies nine months apart on the zodiac when I was 11 years old. Inanna is the Mesopotamian goddess of fertility, procreation, and childbirth. She is a perfect representation of the woman on the wheel, which then brings us nine months later. November 22nd to December 21st. Newborns. In our quest to comprehend the intricacies of fertility and reproduction, the connection between the woman symbol and the newborn's subsequent arrival nine months later is an important indicator of the purpose of the fertility wheel. 
This correlation underscores the profound influence of the fertility wheel and represents the culmination of the wheel's impressive teachings. By acknowledging this association, we gain valuable insights into the mechanisms governing fertility, further deepening our understanding of the fertility wheel and its impact on the cycle of life itself. Using these symbols, the fertility wheel can clearly convey its purpose and evoke a sense of wonder and appreciation for the miracle of birth. In my research, I noticed the zodiac contained many seasonal breeders, and I searched for more information on each character. Traditionally, according to the current zodiac, the place after the woman would hold the symbol of the scales. However, I've changed that to a seasonal breeder for essential reasons. But first, let's talk about seasonal breeding animals and their importance in this wheel. Here is where the animals fit neatly into place. Just put the seasonal breeders in their peak mating times. Horses, lizards, sheep, goats, cats, pigs, frogs, and most birds and deer are common seasonal breeders. Therefore, it will be easy to see the correlation between the land animals on the fertility wheel and their place as known seasonal breeders. Seasonal breeders are animal species that, once again, only mate during specific times of the year. For example, early spring is often the most optimal time for the animals to give birth, because it allows for the survival of their offspring. I will now list the seasonal breeders and their peak mating time. Some will ask why the cow was not listed as a seasonal breeder. Many consider them seasonal breeders, with about 75% of the cows mating in spring, but some are mated just after the spring equinox because of weather, food, or necessity. March 22nd to April 21st, cow, bull, or ox. Same as October 22nd to November 21st, cattle producers often opt for a specific calving season, with spring being the most common choice, followed by fall. This means that there are two distinct mating seasons for cattle. The cattle symbols on the wheel represent the two peaks or the best times during the year for cattle breeding and planting wheat. The cattle symbols aim to represent cow breeding seasons, not gestation times. March 22nd to April 21st, cow, bull, ox. As the earth awakens from its winter slumber, the arrival of spring brings renewed vitality to cattle. During this season, the warmer temperatures and flourishing vegetation create an ideal environment for mating. Cattle, guided by their natural instincts, exhibit distinct behaviors, such as increased activity, vocalizations, and heightened interactions. In addition, the springtime abundance of fresh forage provides essential nutrients, contributing to the cattle's overall health and reproductive readiness. Farmers and herders keenly observe these natural rhythms and carefully manage their herds to optimize successful mating during this pivotal period. In many traditional farming communities, spring is a time-honored season for cattle breeding. October 22nd to November 21st, another symbol for cow, bull, ox. Depending on your location and animals, the breeding season for cattle sometimes occurs in the fall, with October being a common month for peak mating. This period is characterized by cooler temperatures and shorter daylight hours, which can trigger hormonal changes in the bulls and make them more sexually active. May 22nd to June 21st. Horse and man light is the controlling factor in mares coming into heat. Therefore, mares' reproductive cycle is mainly regulated by the amount of light they receive. In June, the sun graciously gifts us with its radiant presence, illuminating our days with the longest stretch of daylight, spanning 14 hours. The man also has meaning, represented in the harvest, as this is the peak time to harvest barley, rye, oats, and both spring and winter wheat. Dumuzid, the Mesopotamian god of shepherds, fertility, agriculture, and food, and who is also known as the fisherman, is a perfect representation of the male duties represented on the wheel and plays an integral part in the story it tells. In addition to harvesting, the man may also hunt on behalf of his village. June 22nd to July 21st, spiny-tailed lizard, previously known as the goatfish. Spiny-tailed lizards are long-day breeders, and their peak mating is in July. Therefore, this mating time is a perfect fit for the fertility wheel. Their mating season is the primary time to catch them, from May until September. They are known as the fish of the desert. So, the goatfish is an appropriate name. September 22nd, 
to October 21st. Sheep or goat sheep and goats are short day breeders, meaning their reproductive activity starts during the shortening of days in late summer and early autumn, per their natural environmental conditions. Shorter days can trigger the mating season, commonly known as the rut in many species. Birth in several species typically occurs shortly after new green growth appears, which provides food for the females and allows them to produce milk for their young. The warmer temperature during spring reduces the risk of the young becoming hypothermic. The gestation period for goats and sheep is usually around 150 days. January 22nd to February 21st. Lion are known to be seasonal breeders, meaning they have specific periods during which they are more likely to mate. In general, cats are influenced by the changing seasons and daylight length. In the Northern Hemisphere, the typical mating season for cats begins in winter or early spring. During this heightened phase of their cycle, it is crucial for humans to be more vigilant, particularly during nighttime when the risks to both livestock and humans are amplified. Increased awareness becomes essential to mitigate potential dangers. To understand the agricultural aspect of the fertility wheel, March 22nd to April 21st, cow, bull, ox, the same as October 22nd to November 21st. The second message of the cattle symbol for the images of these two months reminds us this is about the farm's fertility. Referring back to what was discussed about the cattle symbols, we remember this is a crucial time to plant crops and one of two peak mating times in their yearly cycle. This is the time to plant spring wheat, winter wheat, rye, and barley, using the symbol of cattle to represent the animals and tasks needed to work the land, including plowing and tilling, usually done by cattle if available. In researching agriculture charts worldwide, I came across Turkey's crop calendar, which indicated the two types of wheat that were to be planted seven months apart. I found that they aligned perfectly with the cattle symbols on the fertility wheel. The optimal planting cycle for both wheat varieties falls between March through April and October through November, the exact same months as the cattle mating seasons and their corresponding symbols. This was when I knew I'd uncovered the key, the secret, the missing piece that solved the riddle of the wheel. May 22nd to June 21st, Man on the Horse. Representing the harvest time is the second message of this image. This is the peak for harvesting barley, oats, rye, and both spring and summer wheat. The man represents the time of the harvest. During the summer months, the harvest season reaches its peak. For instance, barley is usually harvested in early June, while wheat, rye, and oats are harvested in early July. Dumuzid, the god of shepherds, food, and agriculture, is often associated with June and July in different cultures, possibly depending on the crops harvested in that region. August 22nd to September 21st. Two fish. You do not breed fish. You catch and eat fish. Bait, timing, and location are so crucial to successful fishing. I have reasons and ideas that the fish in question could be the red mullet. I am a fisherman and love fishing at this time. The best fishing for the red mullet or goat fish is between August and October, which works perfectly with the fertility wheel. August through September is the prime fishing season for many species of fish, including carp, catfish, bonito, sea bass, dorado, tuna, yellowtail, and sardines, to name a few. Therefore, it is beneficial to fish at this time. December 22nd through January 21st. Crab. The primary season for all crab species is October through January, when they're often at their largest and populations are highest after spawning. Since food was not being produced at this quieter time in the agricultural cycle, this alternate source of sustenance could be life-saving. April 22nd through May 21st. Scorpion scorpions mate during spring and summer and give birth to live offspring, known as scorpilings. Three of the most deadly scorpions in the world are found in the Fertile Crescent. The nocturnal creatures that hunt and are active at night are dangerous to people and livestock. They are an important part of the wheel and the concept of survival. Lions and scorpions are represented at their peak mating times on the fertility wheel. Large cats are seasonal breeders and are shown on that list, 
and the scorpion is not a seasonal breeder. July 22nd to August 21st. Tipped vase, uncontrolled water. It is widely recognized that these regions are prone to flash floods from June to September each year, which can cause significant harm to towns, cities, and infrastructure. Egypt currently celebrates the flood every year on August 15th. A symbol for uncontrolled flowing water represents the most common time for a flash flood. Water is life. Water brings fertility to the land. Everything depends on water. And without fresh water, a lot of things die. February 22nd to March 21st. Woman or goddess, March 22nd to April 21st. Cow, bull, ox April 22nd to May 21st. Scorpion May 22nd to June 21st. Horse June 22nd to July 21st. Spiny-tailed lizard July 22nd to August 21st. Tipped vase spilling water August 22nd to September 21st. Fish September 22nd to October 21st. Sheep, goat October 22nd to November 21st. Cow, bull, ox November 22nd to December 21st. Newborns, December 22nd to January 21st. Crab, January 22nd to February 21st. Lion. The following symbols represent farming. March 22nd to April 21st. Cow, bull, or oxen. And October 22nd to November 21st. Both represent the time to sow wheat, corn, oat, and barley seeds. May 22nd to June 21st. The man on the horse representing the harvest. Hi, my name is Steve. Thank you for watching my video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And please subscribe. There will be more videos to come, including ones that will be exciting and amazing. Have a wonderful day.